you can now explore darker places and areas with lower visibility. All right, I guess it's time to go back to my home country. To continue my mission of finding Planet 4546b Earth's counterparts and learn more about Earth's biomes, I came to Portugal, my home country. Today I will go diving off the coast of Lagos, a coastal town in the south of Portugal. And I have one specific mission. To find one of the largest eel species on Earth, known to live in these waters. So, let's just dive right into it. The visibility is not the best, but, well, at least I have a flashlight now. It will definitely be useful to find cool things on these rock walls. Dude, what's that? <gasps> a baby reaper leviathan! Heh, <laughs> obviously kidding. We don't have any of those on Earth. I think. But I'm still gonna add that pairing to my list of comparable species. Nemesignis banuliensis is a nudibrink species, and quite the large one at that, reaching up to 7 centimeters in length. Ooh, <laughs> the monster. Okay. Even though large, it was only described by scientists in the year 1960. They are covered by orange serratus, protrusions which extend the surface area of their body and aid in the process of gas exchange for respiration. This is probably their eggs. Interesting. Godspeed, little baby baby leviathans. And these are for sure gorgonians, which definitely resemble the vined nettle on 4546b. They are sessile colonial gnidarians found in oceans all around the world. Instead of secreting calcium carbonate-based skeletons, like the so-called stony corals or true corals, soft corals contain structures within their tissues called spiracles to support their bodies. Unlike stony corals, gorgonians usually thrive in colder and nutrient-rich waters with less light. I personally think they look awesome, and I love this combination of several differently colored gorgonians in these, like, kind of colorful Gorgonian gardens. What are you? The Rock Cook... <laughs> rock Cook. I already like this guy. The Rock Cook is a small wrasse endemic to the Atlantic Ocean of Europe. It is a cleaner fish, eating parasites that live on other fish in the area. They help maintain the local fish healthy, making them an important part of this ecosystem. Interspecies relationships, especially those that rely on cooperation, give me some hope for the world. You go, little rock cooks. Aw, besties. Sea stars be sea stars no matter what species. Friendship goals, if you ask me. Hi, dude. It's always a pleasure to meet an eight-legged friend down here. Or should I say eight-armed friend? <laughs> yeah. Because of the rocky seafloor in this area, a lot of ships have lost their anchors over the decades, if not centuries. Here is one of those lost anchors. I detect a serpent-like form hiding somewhere in the area. Beware. Oh, we are getting close. Oh, dude, there he is. Approach with caution. Damn, what a big boy. So cool. <laughs> and look at all the little grass prawn guards. The European conger is the heaviest eel in the world and is native to the Northeast Atlantic and Mediterranean Sea. They have an adult average length of 1.5 meters whoa, and a maximum known length of 2.1 meters. That is big. 
They usually live in holes in the rock, coming out at night to hunt. Do not try to catch or touch. Uh, they can be aggressive. All right, got it. Won't do that then. Okay, well, heaviest eel on the planet, check. And I will consider that as a counterpart to the amp eel. Even though the conger doesn't produce electricity like the amp eel, only the electric eels produce it. But unfortunately, electric eels only live in fresh waters in South America, which is a bit far from here. Mission accomplished and time to go back. I don't know about you, but I tend to forget about the beauty of things that are just outside my backyard. Today I was reminded of that. What beautiful things do you have in your backyard? Let me know. I am happy with today's exploration and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one in some other ocean somewhere. Mission complete.